Let's skip the final words. I want to get to Juan Williams right now with a reaction now to the breaking news about the results of this independent board looking into his firing and the news now uh, that this Vivian Schiller, uh, again, that, that this Vivian Schiller is going to lose her bonus, but that Ellen Weiss has apparently lost her job or at least is now resigning in the wake of how she handled Juan's termination. Juan, your reaction to the news? Well, I mean, I think it's good news for NPR if they can get uh, someone who I think has been the keeper of the flame of uh, liberal orthodoxy out of NPR. I mean, the idea that she was, you know, someone who just had, I think, the executioner's knife for anybody who didn't abide by one single way of thinking, which was her way of thinking, Megan. Uh, and I think she represented a very ingrown, incestuous culture in that institution that's not open to not only different ways of thinking, but angry at the fact that I would even talk or be on Fox, angry at the fact that uh, people have different perspectives and that a conservative perspective might, might emerge either on Fox or on NPR. So to my, to my mind, this is good news for NPR, for people who care about news in America. Juan, Ellen was the one, do, did I have my facts correct, uh, that, that fired you, that actually called you up and without even agreeing to meet with you, fired you after 10 years? That's right. Uh, essentially called me a bigot uh, for saying that I feared uh, and felt when I am in airports and about to get on a plane and see people who are dressed in Muslim garb, uh, a moment of anxiety about that presence, that that statement she said was evidence of bigotry, that uh, she felt that uh, it was no longer any place for me because I had crossed the lines of her journalistic standards. Uh, I think what I crossed was her politically correct red line in the sand, and uh, she when I said to her, you know, we can talk about this. Have you heard the whole interview? Have you heard the whole interview with Bill O'Reilly? She said she didn't need to hear anything else, review anything else. Uh, she said that uh, there was nothing that I could say to her face to face that would change her mind. And, and what about your reaction, Juan, to this, uh, to Vivian Schiller, the one who suggested you needed a psychiatrist, uh, to her staying on and the board expressing its confidence in her? Well, that's up to them, and I had nothing to do with that investigation, Megan, because I didn't. I felt like I didn't know if they were going to further defame me in order to justify their actions. I didn't have anybody representing me at the table, as you can appreciate as a lawyer, and I felt, you know what, better for me to keep my distance. I'm free to comment on what has happened now, but they've made their decision. They can live with it. All I'm telling you is that they've got a culture there that is not open to real news, that it's not open to all points of view, that's not open to the real world around us and to the many different dynamics and perspectives and, and life stories that animate the news in America. Nonetheless, this Vivian Schiller has lost her bonus for 2010, Juan. That, that is in connection with how she handled uh, your termination, since it was Ellen Weiss who actually pulled the trigger on the termination. And one, one can only assume that Ms. Schiller's comments about you and, and, and your need, in her view, for a psychiatrist uh, may have played into that. Some feel somewhat vindicated by that. You know, I'm going to try to stay away from uh, bitter feelings, Megan. But I got to tell you that I thought it was a low blow for her. Not only that, I mean, there was a suggestion that I am such a weak-minded person that I needed a publicist to tell me what to say. Uh, Megan, you know me a long time. I don't think you ever thought, hey, Juan doesn't can't handle a conversation. Uh, can't put two words together. So the whole idea was to demean me, to make me appear as if I was not only a lunatic who needed a psychiatrist, but I was a loose cannon and not a professional news person. How does NPR fare now, Juan? I mean, what's, now that all's been said and done, the, this board's come out with its review and this is its decision, how do you think it rebuilds, if it does at all, it, the confidence of anybody in listening to NPR and trusting it for fair and balanced news? They've got to see what comes next, because what has happened in the past is that you had someone like Ellen Weiss there at the top of the news division, and she was pushing out anybody who had a different point of view about the world or the news or bringing different kinds of stories to the table. As I said, the institution has existed for, you know, since the 1970s, and really started on college campuses as left-wing alternative radio, it has since grown into a major news institution in the United States. Ellen Weiss has been there that whole time, and it's, she has kept along her pals, her friends, who all think alike. It's become highly ingrown, if not incestuous, in terms of their perspective, and they protect each other, and they push everybody else out. You know, you're not one of us. You're not one of the original team. And uh, it goes to the point even 
of people who are young or people who are of different races. It is a very difficult environment to which in which to present and report the news. So the question is, do they simply go back and get someone else who also is part of that culture, or do they finally start to break out and acknowledge that, you know what, we have responsibilities to the wider world. We can't pretend that we are somehow special, that government funding through the member stations is going to protect us from what the world thinks and what the world views us to be. Vivian Schiller says that, uh, that right now they will have a person uh, named Margaret Lowe Smith who will step in temporarily as Ellen's replacement as they search for a more permanent person to take the place of uh, Ellen. In her, in her email, in Vivian Schiller's email, it, she is very complimentary of Ellen Weiss, saying it's, Ellen has, is the one who notified her she'd be leaving the position, talking about her meaningful contributions. Uh, she's grateful to her, and on it goes. You know, it, one, one has to wonder what kind of statement NPR is trying to make here. They've allowed her to resign. They've, they've sounded, uh, you know, the, the, the alarm in, in her defense somewhat by saying what, what a professional and uh, person of integrity she is. And, uh, uh, you know, I can't well, help but, I can't help but say, it. Megan, it's quite a contrast to the way they treated me. But you know what? I mean, if they want to be Pravda, if they want to be, you know, issue propaganda and like that, fine. But I think everybody knows the real yeah. story here. And yeah. the real story is that you can't go around, you know, treating people like trash and pretending that anybody who has a different point of view is illegitimate. And we will leave it at that. Juan Williams landing on his feet at Fox News Channel, the actual home for fair and balanced news.